Hello everyone, it's Koneko here, and today's video is going to be about my new haircut. <laughs> So recently I chopped off all my hair and then I went and got it fixed by a professional. It is what it is. I wanted a big change and I think I got it. Is this the final look that I'm going for? Maybe, maybe not. Find out later on in the video. So I cut my hair Friday night. That was a couple days ago. I was waiting for some hair products to come in and a new straightener to come in, um, which was ordered through the hair shop that I went to. I went to a hair salon called Iconic and I posted a little kind of thing on Facebook on my cosplay, Koneko Cosplay Facebook page showing like a random curly hair picture that I have um, and like her business card and a couple pictures right after I got my hair done so this has been slipped on a bit and it's very rainy and crazy here so my hair is is a little bit puffy and whatnot and hopefully the new products that I got will help with that and a new straightener as well so I will be fixing up my hair to test out the, at least the straightener um, towards the end of this video after kind of unboxing everything that I got but let's show the crazy little clip of me chopping off my hair here's the motherfucking tape wow this is garbage so I'm about to cut all my hair off and I'm using the Snow App filter, and hopefully it's making me look lovely because I have no makeup on. It is what time o'clock? I don't know. It's 12! Oh my gosh, so it's midnight, and I'm gonna like cut off all my hair. So I guess I'm just gonna get a good look at how long it is and how crazy it is before I cut it off. So I mean, I'm sure there's better ways to do this, but we're, we're gonna look at going to a hairdresser hopefully tomorrow. Hopefully they're not all closed all Easter weekend. But I'll deal with it either way. Stop laughing at me. I'm gonna put my elastic in and then I'm gonna get my husband to... Hey, I'm over here. I'm gonna get my husband to lower the elastic quite a bit down a decent amount. So you, so there, I should cut off all that. So I'm just gonna like wing it. And I don't know if it'll be straight, but I might just get him to like, Fix it up. Dun dun dun. And I even, like, my hair's so thick. Can you, like, zoom in? Oh my god, I'm cutting it. <laughs> I've had long hair, like, for forever. People are gonna freak out. Oh my gosh, can you hear it? I'm, like, gonna make a mess. Well, I guess that's what vacuums are for. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> I had a little bit. Wow, okay, usually I cut like that much off when I want to trim my hair. Oh, I'm just gonna set that there. All right, so, oh my gosh, it feels so much lighter. What did I do? It's so crooked looking like this time because of the way I pulled it, but oh my God. Oh. Okay, I'll just shorten this side up a bit so it's kind of even, but I know, what am I doing really with my life? Oh my gosh. What do you think? <laughs> well, it's so crazy right now, I'm kinky. <laughs> it's so light, my headache's gone. <laughs> but like, look at this. What the fuck is this little thing? I. This is what like people with short hair deal with every day. <laughs> so yeah, I'll just um, continue in another video. I don't know, just it's fine to stop. So after chopping off my hair, I woke up and I didn't regret it. 
thankfully. I'm sure there will be days where I miss my long hair, but it'll grow back its hair. I do like it short. It's very easy to work with. Of course, I haven't washed my hair yet um, because I was waiting for these new products that I'm going to show you in a second. Um, and my hair is naturally crazy and curly, so it's going to be interesting to see. Hopefully the products will help tame that a bit because um, I used to only really use like drugstore type stuff from like Lawton's and whatnot. I think like Pantene or whatever and I was able to get a good deal on like a bundle package for this product which is called Diva Curl. So this nice bundle here comes with shampoo and conditioner as well a serum, a super cream, and a leave-in decadence. There's some tips on the back as well, but I'm just go, gonna go ahead and take out the products and kind of just show what those look like. So the shampoo and conditioner are here. They are decent sized bottles. Oh, we've got no poo decadence, zero lather ultra moisturizing milk cleanser. So the hairdresser did use this on me and she did a hair treatment for me as well, which was amazing. Um, I appreciate so much her talking me through everything, uh, explaining different things that would be good for my hair, different things that were bad for my hair. And then there's the One Condition Decadence Ultra Moisturizing Milk Conditioner. Um, so they don't have a strong smell to them or anything. It's they just kind of remind me of a soft like dove soap smell if that makes sense like super soft and they felt amazing on my head when she used them so there's that and i'm super excited um to use them myself then we have the diva curl super cream and the diva curl leave-in decadence so the cream is coconut curl styler define and control Everything, whether you want to soften, define, tame, frizz, twist out, or twist up your look, this rich coconut oil infused styler does it all. Okay, and then the Leave-In Decadence Ultra Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner, 100% um, sulfate, paraben, silicone free. I'm assuming you would use this first and then this. These products are new to me and I've gotten like products from hair salons before, nothing with like steps and stuff. It's like shampoo and conditioner, you use shampoo and then conditioner. The kit bundle was like $42 after taxes, which was amazing. Um, and so we'll see how long that lasts for my hair. I think the fact that my hair is a lot shorter than it used to be will make hair products last longer. So that's cool. So those are the products there. Of course, the box does have some details on it, but I'm not, I'm not gonna like read the off. I think that would be kind of boring. Okay, so onto the hair straightener. So I'm gonna show you my crusty, dusty, old hair straightener and then the new one that I got. I got this old straightener a couple years ago at another hair salon in the Regent Mall here in Fredericton. I probably replace hair straighteners every like three or so years. Um, and I know that, I'm pretty sure the new hair straightener I got said that there was a two year warranty. Um, this is a Royal Professional Straightener Iron. But as you can see, there's still pieces of my hair inside there. Um, and the coloring is going all gross. And I had this on like the counter in my bathroom and my cat Merlin decided to um, knock it off. And so the little plastic piece broke off there. So that also, especially when my hair was longer and I would just kind of like go, um, I don't know what that sound was, but it would get caught in here and then it would get caught in here. <laughs> oh, before that, I just want to mention randomly 
that um, for hair straighteners, I think it's good to have something that you can put it in on the counter so that you don't ruin counters or anything. And this one actually can stick to like mirrors or like on the counter or whatever, um, which I didn't have it stuck properly. So that's why the cat was able to knock it off. But So this is the new hair straightener. Got a nice diagram on the back. We're just gonna open it up and get on in here. If I can get inside it. Oh gosh, okay, wait. Ah. It slides out like that. Ooh. I'm like fisting the box. Gross, you nasty. Anyways. Dun, 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 dun. All right. So for any of my extreme good hair straighteners, I've always spent around a hundred dollars. I think this was a little bit below a hundred dollars, actually, like ninety or something. <clears throat> Even after taxes. All right. Ooh, new, sleek, never been used. <laughs> Typical cord, what can I say? Rapido Babyless Pro. It looks like there's a little screen here, so it'll show you like the temperature stuff once you get it on and the buttons are in here. There's none of that like plastic thing that could potentially break off and get caught in my hair. So that's nice. These look awesome i'm gonna go i love that it's like black with like a little bit of blue because i really like blue but i'm gonna go ahead and plug this in okay so i might as well like i have it plugged in and there is a little on button here so it says oh it, it's heating up it's heating up to 350 or something, I think, because it said 350 and now the numbers are like going up. 450. So that is as high as it will go. Um, I don't know how low it will go, but like I usually use max. That didn't take long at all to heat up. So that's all I have for this video today. I'd love to know your thoughts on my new haircut, what you think of it being this short. I always love hearing your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!